Hey guys, um, today I have a new, uh, let's say, a new way to siphon my fish tank. I went to the pet store and I got some of this blue tube, it's 10 foot long, about two dollars, and I got two rolls of it. So I was siphoning my water to get the ammonia and stuff out. So, how I siphon my water out is, um, I go through the tube and it goes right out the back door. And it goes outside and out, out outside. You know. Um, I got some new fish, also, and I was going to show you this new bucket thing I made. Um, all the, well, I had, I have. Originally, you're supposed to use that small blue tube or the clear tube, but I've been using this big, big, bigger tube, and uh, sometimes it'll come apart and it'll start siphoning water out into the floor when we're not here. So. I made this bucket, and there's a big hole over there in the corner. I don't know if you can see it right there. And I put hot glue around it to seal it off. And there's a tube, and it goes into this big bucket down there. And then there's also, if it gets too full, it'll go through a um, another tube that leads out the door as well. And you can actually close the door. It just doesn't siphon as fast. Um, but whenever I change the water, I take about one quarter out of it. And that's pretty much good. Every two months, I take a half half of the tank of water out, and um, I don't know if you've seen my other video, but I have that little black fish, I have him, and those, the entire one, and then I have this dude right here, which is very colorful, and I got him, and that right there, he, um, I just bought him today, actually, he's kind of like an algae eater, he goes around the bottom, like on the gravel, and sucks up all the nasty stuff. Sand dollar. I bought this new plant. This is an actual plant. And there's um, always him, which I've had for a few years. There's a pink one back there. There is my uh, angelfish. My algae eater. There's that fish that I just got. There's that little orange one right there. That's a blue one. Um, back there. I don't know if you can see him really good, but he's like right at the end of my finger. And then I have another algae eater, and um, I'm not sure where he is. He is um, actually like, he's humongous. He's like the size of this fish. And this is my hand. That's a pretty big fish. So, and he's probably a little bit bigger. I don't know exactly where he is right now or I'd show him to you, but he's pretty big. Um, let's see if I can find him. But Oh, I also have that red fish. Is that red one? He's pretty cool. Um, I always have thermometer. I have an electric thermometer right here. Um, my paddle wheel filter. It, it filters up to 200 gallons, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, so it always keeps it good and clean. Uh, oh, my um, my angelfish. He uh, actually changes colors. Um, so that's pretty cool. I added some bamboo and stuff, and I got a coral reef, and this, coral, this big bubbler up here, there's bubble everywhere. And then back on this big piece of coral I got, I actually put some bubble rock under there, and it made a bubble, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, but I got that plant for like a five dollars, and it grows, and whenever it gets too tall, you can just like snap it off and replant it, and it makes more. Kind of like that bamboo, where you cut it off, and it just keeps on growing forever, you know? But, um... It's pretty interesting. I really like it. Um, it's set up here. 